All right, John is building a backyard pizza oven with an arch, arch opening. He has 72 bricks. He will place six bricks at, the time, at a time as he builds the oven. If, if he arranges the bricks in piles of six, how many piles will he have? So our division problem is 72 minus, or 72 divided by six. And we're just gonna subtract six each time to represent each of the piles, okay? So we're gonna start subtracting six one time, and that should give us six, this was 12, and this is now six, so 66. Then we're gonna subtract six again, and we'll end up with 60. And then the sec next time we'll subtract six again and we'll end up with 54. If we subtract six again, we'll end up with 48. And we can keep doing that until we end up with zero at the bottom. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep doing it here. Six, 42, that's the fourth time. Minus six, we'll end up with 12, 30, oops, 36, that's a 36. Yeah, that was the fifth time, and then we're gonna minus six again, that'll be 30, that's the sixth time. Minus six again, that's 24, that was the seventh time. Minus six again, that was an 18, that was the eighth time. Minus six again, 12, that was the ninth. Did I mess this up? Six again, that's the 10th time. Oh, this is, that's why, come on, why did I mess it up? This is two, three, four, because that was one. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So minus six again, that ended up with six. And then the 12th time, I'm gonna minus six, and I'm gonna end up with zero. So 12 would be how many times we could minus six from 72 and, and um, to do division a different way. Can you reach zero evenly? Did we reach zero evenly? Yes, we did. Count the number of times we subtracted six. I counted them, I counted them wrong first because I counted one twice, but it was 12. So then there are 12 piles of six bricks, okay? If we wanna do um, a little different, let me get the correct page. Some of you may have noticed when we were here that when we got to 66, you know that 66 divided by six is 11. Some of you already know that. Or when we got to the 60 here, we could say 60 divided by six is 10. So you can actually make this subtraction method shorter like they did here. So you have 72 divided by six. We know that six times 10 equals 60. That would give us 12. As Once we put the 60 here and we subtracted the 72, that would give us 12 left over. And then you can say, well, 12 divided by two is, 12 divided by six is two. Then we can subtract the 12 and end up with zero. Again, this was this one was 10, this one was two, so our total was 12. It goes in 12 times, okay? Um, there, it's not a method, it's about thinking about how many times are you gonna get six into 72, and what are the easiest ways to do that, okay? Another way to do the uh, division is with a, multi, um, a number line. Whoops, sorry, with a number line. So if we wanted to do um, 52 divided by four, we can count by fours until we get to 52. So we're just gonna jump on the number line four each time. So you see one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We're gonna do that each time till we get to 52. So if we do it here, we're gonna say the first jump, that gets us to four. The second jump will get us to eight. The third jump, another four will be 12. The fourth jump will get us to 16. The fifth jump will get us to 20. The sixth will get us to 24.
The seven will get us to 28. The eighth will get us to 32. The ninth will get us to 36. The tenth will get us to 40, which we probably already knew that. The eleventh will get us to 44. The twelfth will get us to 48. And the thirteenth will get us to, to 52. So then 30, or 52 divided by 4 would be 13 because it took us 13 jumps of 4 to get there. Another way you can do this on the number line, it doesn't have to be perfect, is kind of like what I said right here. You know that I, I know that I can jump 10. Oops, sorry, that should be a 10. I know that I can do 10 times 4 and get to 40 already. And then if I want to go from there, I can do another one. So that was 10. So this will be the ele oops, this will be the 11th jump. That'd get me to 44. The 12th jump will get me to 48. And the 13th jump will get me to 52. So you can do one large jump. Or you can even do 11 times 4 equals 44 to get you there. And then continue jumping from there. So this is another way to do it on the number line. And it doesn't have to be perfect. As you can see, I've done right here. I'm not counting by... Um, fours. I'm not doing four little marks on my number line. I'm just, I'm just kind of estimating about what that might look like. Okay. Um, use repeated subtraction to divide this. So I'm going to do 84 divided by 7. I'm going to do a shortened, the shortened version and I'm going to say that I know 10 times 7 equals 70. So there's 10 I did here. So now I'm going to subtract these to see what I have still left to work with. And I have 14 left to work with. I know that 2 times 7 equals 14. So that was 2 that I did there. 2 times 7 is 14. And I'm going to subtract. I have 0 now. And, that, and it was 12 jumps or 12 moves that I had to make to get there. So 84 divided by 7 is 12. Okay. And then I'm going to use a number line for this one. I'm not going to write out all those lines. It's going to take me forever, and it's pointless. Okay? I can jump by fives because this is five. I can see five, 10, 15, 20, 25. I can even do that on my fingers. But I'm going to jump to 50 because I know that that was 10 times five gets me to 50. And then I'm going to say and the 11th jump gets me to 55. The 12th jump gets me to 60, and the 13th jump gets me to 65. So I know that this answer is 13. All right, good luck on your homework tonight, and I will see you tomorrow.